I'd like to shift gears a little bit here. And, or it's actually the same gear, it's just a different way of coming about it and looking at it, and talk about this subject that is so interesting to me. And nowadays people are talking about the law of attraction, and uh, that's a good idea, and they're talking about the law of allowing, but there's a third law that uh, so many people aren't talking about, but it's the one that I'm the most interested in, and it also starts with A. It's called the law of agreement. The Law of Agreement, it's the title of my, the book I'm working on right now, right now, my next book. And the Law of, of Agreement, simply put, is that agreement breeds reality. Our agreement reinforces any reality that we have. And every reality or belief system that we have in our world exists because we agree upon it. You come into your this lifetime and a bunch of people tell you that this is the way it is and you agree and then it gets that much stronger. One more person agreeing with any belief system or any reality makes it that much stronger. One, You can get one person to go and say, well, I think it's a good idea that we go bomb those people over there and not much happens and you get uh, ten people to agree that it's a good idea to go bomb those people over there and maybe just a, a seed is planted and you get a thousand people to get together and who all agree that it's a good idea to bomb those people, pretty soon you're over there bombing those people because everybody agrees that it's a good idea. In other words, the belief systems and the realities that we all have in our lives, that they, uh, the building blocks of those be belief systems are our agreements. And we always have the choice at any given moment in our lives whether we want to agree with something or withhold that agreement and not feed that particular reality because that reality just isn't working for us anymore. And, it, and you'll see it come up in your daily life now, even closer, even more often now because you're given an opportunity, just turn on the TV or talk to a friend or whatever and do I want to agree with this and further this and reinforce this particular belief system because it is working for me and it's helping me and supporting me in my life or do I want to withhold that agreement and not add to it and not feed the hand that's biting me, you see. So um, we in the early days of the intenders, we used to uh, sort of uh, talk about people who had their hip pocket dramas. You know, you've met people with a hip pocket drama. You're going along, you're talking to them, all of a sudden they're, you're embroiled in their drama, they just laid it out on you, they whipped it out of their hip pocket, and now you're, you're just uh, dealing with it. And uh, usually when somebody's got a hip pocket drama, why you realize that you end up walking away feeling a little dumped or drained on, uh, dumped on, and they walk away feeling better, but not much change because they just go on to the next person, the next person keep laying the hip pocket drama on them. And we wanted to do something about that, and we didn't want to reinforce the, the hip pocket drama. And so what we did was we got good at whenever somebody would uh, walk into our face or walk into our life and starting on their drama why we got good at going oh or hmm we would not agree we would not even do this because immediately when you do this that's an agreement that's a nod Whew, there's an exchange of energy you walk away having to deal with the emotional charge and figure out how you're going to resolve it and they walk away just going on to the next person. And so we found that the best way to, to really get a point across to them and not feed that drama was to just withhold our agreement from it. Indeed, what we said earlier is that we have at our disposal all realities. We can pick and choose any reality we want to believe in. It, for every point of view we have, its opposite is, its opposite is equally valid. And so, again, the tool with which we use to reinforce our lifestyles, our realities, our belief systems, is our agreement. And it's always there, and each and every one of us have it. So I'd like to tell you a story that makes an example out of that.